welcome back so please settle down for this third session in the day 3 kindly keep your mobiles in the silent mode let's have lesser and lesser movements in the hall while the sessions are going on and let's have lesser discussion in between discussions small discussions happening in between the sessions right as we are going deeper into the uhv3 content let's have more and more focus on that okay so now we'll go ahead with the content what we have been discussing in the forenoon session let me welcome uh, kumar bhaiya for continuing the session mr bhaiya can carry on in with that exercise that we are doing observing the imagination we'll do that for 10 minutes and then we'll proceed with the discussion is that okay <laughs> that is going to be very sound sleep you know <laughs> yes so let us do it for 10 minutes so i have to find out what am i doing within me i have to see my object of attention every moment i'm there with me i'm observing the object of my attention is <clears throat> no need to compel myself to observe no need to force myself to observe just be as you are and observe your object of imagination
Now try to see the feeling with that object of imagination. You remember somebody in your imagination, there must be some feeling associated with it. You remember some event in your imagination, there must be some feeling associated. So trace that feeling. Nice. So, you can just note down at least one object of imagination that you could make out and the feeling associated with that object. Just try to note it. There must have been multiple objects one by one. Now, your imagination was migrating from one object to another object. But if you could note some object of imagination and the feeling associated with it, try to note it down. Pardon? How? How long? Uh, okay, ten minutes. <coughs> Describe it a bit. Something that you can understand for yourself. I feel good, I feel bad, whatever. Anything. Maybe you had some obligation, some work has to be done. Your attention went there and you felt anxious. So there was feeling of anxiety there, some anxious feeling. You remembered somebody from your family, you felt good and uh, some feeling of affection was there. So that is something that you have to note or some irritation was there, isn't it? Some frustration was there, happiness was there, unhappiness was there. Whatever you saw, you have to note down and then we will observe the next things. So, we will continue with this every day in almost every session we will try to do this exercise in the beginning and then you know, go ahead with the exploration. So, what we can expect also from this workshop is that we become aware of our feeling every moment. So, we will keep on exploring, we will keep on verifying the proposals at the same time we will keep on being aware of our feeling, isn't it? And then see whether my feeling is in line with my natural characteristic or not, harmony or not, you know, coexistence or not, we will observe it. Nice. So, this is something that we are discussing. So, if you talk about any unit, uh, there are five dimensions of the unit and form and property are changing, they have variety. Natural characteristic, innateness and coexistence is something which is definite continuous and universal. Any question regarding this or all the words are clear? Yes, 
Yes, color if you see, it can be placed in property. It is an effect of one object on another object, yeah. Yeah, the form, if you see the color, color is an effect of one object on another object, isn't it? So that would be a property. So we can study about our body. The form of the body is clear. What is the property of the body? Take the example of body. What is the property of the body? No, short, long is a form. What is the property of your body? Pardon? Behavior. Behavior pertains to you. What? Sensation. It is an information from body to the self. I am talking about the property of body. So, talk about the body. Speaking, listening. <laughs> See, when you are utilizing your body, then you are speaking or listening. What is the property of a body? It is a material unit. That is an activity of the body. Feeling is there in the self, not the body. Yeah. <laughs> so, what would be the property of the body? I am asking. See, we are talking about five senses. Five senses. See, like here we are sitting. If the AC was, if AC is on, we are not sweating. If the AC is not on, we start sweating. The body starts sweating. So, this is property of the body. At a given temperature, it starts sweating. Over and above that temperature, it starts doing something else. Below that temperature, it does not sweat. Things like this. So, this is the property of the body. We took food, the body is able to digest it. So, there is an effect of the food on the body. There is also effect of the body on the food. If we had eaten stones there, <laughs> it would not have got digested. We ate healthy food there, it is getting digested. So, this is the effect of one unit on another unit. Yeah. Yeah, we can say because when we are maintaining that temperature, blood circulation is there, organs are working in such a way that one organ influences the other organ in such a way that the temperature is maintained. Because it is an inherent characteristic of the body to maintain a body temperature, standard temperature. But we are talking about property, not characteristic. No, I am talking about… Property is of one body organ on another body organ so that a body temperature is maintained. But body is an uh, is a composite uh, thing, na? It uh, it consists of number of organs, tissues, cells. So we can take into consideration the property of every cell, every tissue, muscle, yeah. all so those for, things. When you talk about property, there have to be at least two units. Okay, what are so they? Property of food on body, property of body on food. So they have to be two units. If you talk about the body itself, lungs and liver, na? They have effect of there is effect of body, of effect of lung on the liver, liver on the lung. So, that essentially we are talking about the effect, you know, of one unit over another unit. So, there comes the property. Yes, yes. We also say that vat, pith and cuff. So, the body, the constitution of, constitution of the body could be of vat, it could be of pith or it could be cuff. So, based on that, other things in the atmosphere have one kind of effect on the body or another kind of effect on the body. For example, in the same temperature of AC, somebody may start sneezing, somebody may start sweating, isn't it? That difference would be there. It varies from body to body. Behavior is to do with the self. I utilize my body to behave with you. For example, when I am talking to you, I am behaving with you. So, the feeling is there in me. The selection of words is there in me, 
I am using the body to share some words with you. Now your body is receiving those words, and then you are reading those words, and then you are assigning some meaning to it, isn't it? Bhaiya, what about the growth of hair and nails? Will it come under the purview of uh, body property of the body? So look at it, like growth of hair, hair and head. So effect of head on the hair and effect of hair on the head. Okay. That you have to make out. So if you use oil. The effect of oil on the hair would be one kind. If you use, you know, don't use oil, it would be of another kind. Use variety of oils. Every oil will have its own property. Use its own shampoo. effect on the hair. Use shampoo, it will be have some, having yeah. some different property. Yes. Likewise. Yes, yes, yes. Take a mic. Mike. Uh, Baya, when I see these characteristics, like can I apply all this five to the material unit also? Being a unit is enough. Uh, material unit, unit with material unit, material unit with conscious unit, conscious unit with conscious unit. The property is going to be there. Uh, how come uh, can I relate this innateness to a material unit? Coexistence yeah. is fine, I can understand. Yeah, here we had the chart, no? So innateness. Okay. okay. Nice. So you can understand it here. So this is something that we have explored. So if you look at it, when you talk about the form, form is defined for a single unit. So u1 is unit 1. But when you talk about the property, u1 and u2 both have to be there. Two units have to be there. So whenever there are two units, there would be some effect of one unit on another unit. There has to be some effect because they are related, isn't it? So if you look at our current curriculum in academics, when we are studying about physics, chemistry, biology, what we are doing? We are studying about form and property. What does this chemical have as an effect on this particular chemical? How to make a compound? How to make an alloy? What we are doing? We are studying effect of one unit on another unit, isn't it? And by that virtue only we have light in the room. We have air conditioner running, we have been able to produce so many facilities because every physical facility has some effect on another physical facility. The machine has some effect on the product. So by virtue of that only we are manufacturing. So if you look at the current academics, we are only dealing with this form and property. So the form in the shape, size, density. For example, if you talk about the body, the body has a shape, the body has a size. Is it same all the time or keeps varying? changing. Anna? So you have a size, but if you see, size is not changing every day, but the shape is changing. When you are standing, you have one shape. When you are sitting, another shape. You are lying down, some other, another shape, isn't it? The shape is changing. When I fold my legs, it is another shape. When you open my legs, it is another shape. So the shape of the unit is changing, isn't it? Pardon? Yeah. Yeah, but that will not happen within few seconds. You know? <laughs> so size may change, yes. You were a baby, you know, few years back, isn't it? So the size was this much, now you are this much. <laughs> the size has changed. Density is there, you know, of the body. When you talk about property, it is effect of one unit on another unit. So the recognition and fulfillment is there, of one unit on another unit. So you have to start to study you know, from the body itself. Some people have taken food you know, much more than the body can hold. <laughs> so that is another property. You know? <laughs> nice. Now when we see through the sensation, so we can see the form shape, size, density, and we can see some part of the property effect on another unit. So here when we are seeing through sensation, the body is involved, the self is also involved. Now here when I am seeing something, then the five sense organs are here. So we are looking through the eyes, isn't it? So to make out the form of any material object, I utilize my eyes. To see the you know, volume of 
some sound i utilize my ears so the senses are working here now here i can see like effect of one unit or another unit like testing analyzing here thought is involved here only selecting and testing is involved so to see the form and you know, selecting and testing are involved for example i see someone so the shape of the body gets imaged in my eyes from the eyes it reaches me i taste the shape of the body i taste the shape of a plant isn't it not is the property of the plant for that i have to utilize my capacity to think so if i give water in the roots of the plant it nurtures if i put you know buttermilk in the roots of the plant the plant will worsen it will die out it is said known that if you have to remove thorns completely put buttermilk in the roots it will never grow again so the buttermilk will have one kind of effect so what we are doing here i put water in the roots of the plant and see the change in the shape of the plant or the color of the plant you know the size of the plant and i see that yes water is nurturing if i put buttermilk there i see that it is drying away you know so it is worsening so i am also analyzing within when we are conducting some experiment on chemistry in the lab we look at the form and by the change of the form we analyze that yes this is the effect does it happen so we are utilizing our analysis there now when we are seeing what is rational then it is completely taking place in the self for example some part of the property when i am just analyzing within so i conducted some experiment i looked at the shape size and the difference in that now that sight is gone i am thinking in my own office and just analyzing what has happened you know how come the color got changed what could be the reason behind it isn't it and then we come to analyze something and then we come to conclude something so when i am seeing through sensation both self and body are involved when i am seeing what is rational then i am able to see some part of the property and it is completely in the self isn't it so it is said no that one person was there kekule who discovered the shape of benzene so he conducted some experiment in the lab and he was not clear how come this benzene could be structured because how come this kind of effect is coming when i am doing some chemical experiments and in his dreams at night it is said that he saw that snakes are there one snake is eating the tail of another snake and they are all in a circle and the next morning say that okay benzene has this kind of structure <laughs> yeah so if you look at the benzene structure it is cyclic if you look at methane ethane and you know, they are branching but benzene is cyclic so he was just analyzing within and he came up with that you know formula for benzene so what is happening it is completely happening within the self isn't it or you you know went home i were not able to find the mobile charger <laughs> you keep on thinking thinking what has gone wrong <laughs> where did i keep it you know and suddenly it clicks you that oh i put it in the drawer <laughs> you enlarged within yourself and found out that yes i must have kept the you know charger there isn't it in fact uh, when i was doing class 12 so there was one physics teacher and he used to say that newton's laws are most clear to the child we get confused for example he puts the toy in a room next time he goes to the room that toy is not there he simply will ask who took my toy he knows that unless an external force is applied it will not move <laughs> isn't it first law <laughs> now when we try to see what is existential then the higher level activities are involved so i am able to see recognizing and fulfilling here i am able to see the relationship here but the way it is being fulfilled when i am looking at the level of property isn't it the air in the room has some relation to my body 
if there is more of carbon dioxide we start suffocating so this is something that i am able to analyze but more basic to it is i am able to see that air is basically related to my body there is a relationship isn't it this is something that i am able to contemplate so when i am analyzing i can only see the change in form shape size color by which i analyze something but at the very base i am analyzing because they are related the river is related to the land the land is related to the you know plant the land is related to me through air water soil you know isn't it so i am able to see that they are basically related this being able to see that they are basically related is contemplation i can also see that every unit you know has a definite conduct it was there it is there it is going to be there it is very much there it is there in a self organized manner so body you know presently in the form of body sometime later it will go back to the soil but the atoms and molecules that make my body will remain so they are going to be very much and every part of the body is going to remain some part will go to the ashes some part will go to the air some part will go to the soil <laughs> some part will go to the water isn't it but it is going to remain is that true and i am also going to remain i am not a part of the body so this is something i am able to see at the level of understanding this self organization i was teaching uhv2 in my class and one student was continuously arguing that how can you say that the self is there so i said okay let us go rationally you know let us assume that the self is not there and you are merely the body okay he said yes i am saying the same thing i am merely the body then i said that okay after some time what will happen to the body he said i the body will die then what will happen the body will go back to the soil and what will happen a plant will crop from the soil then what will happen a cow will come and eat the plant and what will happen the cow will give dung what has happened to you now <laughs> if you assume that you are only the body why so much of education if this is the future <laughs> pardon see when we say soul soul is the faculty in me to see the submergence natural acceptance is all these three the reflection you know of relationship harmony and coexistence in me soul is the faculty in me to see coexistence submergence yes it is one dimension of the self one faculty of the self so in talking terms also no we say that the soul will never tell you the wrong thing what does that mean that inner voice what does that mean so when i refer to na my this innate faculty i always get the right answer so one way of relating soul is to say that the faculty to see the coexistence another way could be this whole thing can be termed as soul block b1 if you look at the usage and the word soul has been used for block b1 also and pardon yes and another usage is also there when we equate self to soul when we say that atma amar hai hai na soul is indestructible theek hai it is always there then we are trying to relate the word self to soul so these three usages are there either we can equate self to soul or we can equate block b1 to soul or we can equate activity or realization to soul but to be very precise what we can do we can relate this to soul activity or realization pardon form also property form is not a property that is a size shape generally we will say density physical property 
uh, we may say that but what we are, what we are saying here it is form it is another aspect of the unit are properties of body properties of conscious unit and properties of material unit we can yeah so property is something to do with effect effect In, yeah effect we are so defining like another unit mm -hmm. now when we go to see what is existential then we have to see from block b1 the activity of contemplation understanding and realization so when we say like here we are saying you know innateness self organization natural characteristic that is the participation in the larger order and coexistence submergence so when i am able to see this for the nature i can see this we'll talk about this at length and you know? we have briefly talked about in which we two also so we are acquainted with these words so i can see the innateness of every order in nature i can see the natural characteristic of every order in nature so here i am contemplating so if you look at the natural characteristic of the body what would be the natural characteristic of the body from this table what can be said as the natural characteristic of the body from this table yeah so this is it you know nurturing and nurturing with composition decomposition that is the so you just see when we eat food what is happening the food is nurturing my body and the body is nurturing worsening the food it is absorbing all the material from the food so the food is getting worsened the body is getting nurtured does it happen nice so participation of human being in the entire nature so to understand the inherent harmony in nature and to live accordingly that is to facilitate a conducive environment for the activity at least not violate it of all orders to facilitate the innateness or at least not violate it of all orders and to ensure the inheritance or at least not violate it of all orders so what would be my role in the entire nature so with the physical order if you look at it so the innateness of the physical order is existence so i facilitate its existence by ensuring conducive environment and maintaining or ensuring its constitution for example the constitution of earth so the inheritance is constitution here in fact we can discuss more about this in module 4 you know because then the whole table also has to be explained this is just something that we are just looking at you know what is going to be studied so i think i can escape this we can discuss more at length when we are talking about in module 4 we are going to discuss or i will have to discuss the whole table you know so i think for time being we can escape this yeah we'll discuss this at length there ha ah, it laga diye So now we are going to talk about the knower to be known and the process of knowing. So who is the knower? Self. Self. And to be known? Self. <laughs> existence. The whole existence. And what will be the process of knowing? Self-exploration. Self nice. So this is. <laughs> nice resolution we can see that there are nine components of it starting from right understanding and going up to human tradition so this clarity within me when i have this clarity within me you know then i feel resolved whatever with the issue around me i am resolved i know what consciousness is i know what material is i know what coexistence is i know what can happen at the most what will happen consciousness will remain as consciousness material will remain as material <laughs> coexistence will sustain <laughs> whatever events will take place 
and I would be there in terms of form and property. So my legs may get broken next day. They are already, there is a probability that it can get broken. <laughs> so it is nothing new that may happen, isn't it? So whatever may happen in future is already known to us, that this possibility is there. Only that when it is going to happen or not happen is something else. But what can happen, what cannot happen is known to us, isn't it? I cannot be happy by having the feeling of opposition. And when I have the feeling of relationship, I am going to be happy. This is already known. So with this clarity, we always find ourselves resolved. How there will be harmony in the society, people may be fighting with each other, there may be wars, you know? there may be climate changes. But I am resolved that yes, since they are living by the wrong program, that is why the outcome is like this. If they live by the right program, the outcome is going to be something natural, isn't it? So we do not get perturbed, we do not get disturbed, anxious with this clarity. The program is always clear. So when you say perseverance, when you talk about the natural characteristic of a human being living with human consciousness, when I am resolved, I persevere. Persevere means every time I am always working in terms of resolution because I am resolved within and I am trying to resolve the other. This becomes the common program of every human being. Bhaiya, um, first I will identify my goal and then work for it to ensure right understanding or with right understanding I can identify human goal. So this 3.1 and 3.2 flow is confusion. So the clarity of human goal is an outcome of right understanding and not the other way around. नहीं हैप्पी होना चाह रहे हैं कि नहीं वो तो अपने आप में देख के बता सकते हैं उसके लिए तो ह्यूमन गोल की क्लैरिटी भी नहीं चाहिए हाँ इट मीन्स जब मैं रिलेट करता हूँ सोसाइटी से तो जो मुझे क्लैरिटी दिखाई देती है अपने आप में दैट इज ह्यूमन गोल सो इट टॉक राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू सी द रियालिटी एज इट इज सो हु इज द नोवर द सेल्फ टू बी नोन इज द एग्जिस्टेंस कुछ हो रहा है नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट नोइंग देयर आर थ्री थिंग्स टू बी नोन द ह्यूमन बीइंग द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड द ह्यूमन कंडक्ट सो आई हैव टू नो द ह्यूमन बीइंग सो आई हैव टू नो माय सेल्फ आई हैव टू नो द एग्जिस्टेंस एंड आई हैव टू नो माय रोल इन एग्जिस्टेंस दैट इज द ह्यूमन कंडक्ट See, when you talk about human being, you are talking about self and body. Human conduct is the participation of human being in the entire existence. So, human being is a unit and order itself and then it is participating in the larger order. So, if you see the logo that has been designed for UHV, one person is sitting like this and thinking. You know. So, he is contemplating on the role in the entire existence. So, that is the human conduct. You know. We are trying to look into our role in the entire existence, isn't it? Bhaiya, where is the knowledge on the material here? Where is that? Knowledge on the material here. Right. Knowledge of material, yeah. So when we talk about existence, it includes space, material and consciousness all. When we talk about human being also, then we are studying about self, that is consciousness and material, both. Body is material, yes. Self is consciousness, yes. Now, what is the process of understanding that is knowing? So, it is awakening to the activity of contemplation, understanding and realization. So, if you see, again it is self-exploration only, but now more precisely put in terms of higher activities of the self. So when we had the introductory workshop, we were making that diagram that we discussed yesterday also. Proposal is there. I am verifying within at the level of natural acceptance and then I am validating my living, isn't it? Then we had another diagram where thought was there, realization was there on the top, behavior and work was there. That is another way to express self-exploration. And this is another way to express self-exploration. Ultimately, what do we need to do? 
we need to awaken the activities of contemplation, understanding and realization. Yes. Yeah. So again, yeah, the content of knowing when we were talking in the introductory workshop of UHP 2 also, we are talking about harmony at four levels. Yeah. Now we are putting it in some other way. So if you look at family, okay, family has human beings and relation between human beings. Yeah. So that human conduct is the participation, the essence, the feeling would be there when you go to know the human being. So they will be related, yes. So there we are talking about four levels and now we are talking about three things to be known. So the object of contemplation is natural characteristic, that is relationship. So it can be called as natural characteristic. Yes, <laughs> the food was too heavy <laughs> or you made a choice. <laughs> so the object of contemplation is natural characteristic and that is to say relationship. Similarly, I understand the innateness that is to say harmony and I realize the coexistence that is to that is coexistence or submergence. So essentially we need to awaken to this. This is the process of knowing. This is clear? Noted? Ji. With realization only? With realization will I have knowledge of human conduct? Yes. So it is a natural outcome of realization. When I am able to see the submergence of nature in space, then I am also able to see my role in this entire existence. So these three are related. For example, when we talk about human being and we talk about activities in block B1, then we again go to talk about coexistence because ultimately the object of realization is coexistence. So I see that also there. So when I go to know the human being, I also come to see the existence and in my imagination, I am also able to see the human conduct. In fact, in my the process of understanding, we live by human conduct so that it enables me to know the human being and existence. So the essence would be in block B1, okay. the imagination part is there in block B2, too. but the human conduct will also encompass B3 and B4 where I am in, uh, uh, interacting with human being and the rest of nature. Maya, what is B3 and B4? I heard so, you. Yeah, so <laughs> you want... so oh. when I am interacting with the human being, we may call it as block B3. Okay. With the rest of nature, we can call it as B4. So, so this human conduct, definite human conduct will be visible through B3 and B4 and the origin is from B1. Yeah, so if you mm -hmm. remember, we will talk about it in detail also. When you talk about human conduct, talk about values, policy and character, if you okay. remember. Values are contemplated in block B1, policy is there in block B2 and character mm -hmm. is in an outside world, outside. in block B3 and B4. So human conduct will encompass block B1, B2 mm -hmm. and outside also. Okay. Okay. Baya, I am having a doubt. Whenever we came across any accident, today morning also I saw in the newspaper three of SRM students got drowned in a quarry pit. Similarly, entire family died in a car accident. So when we come across such news, maybe for five or ten minutes, I am at disharmony. So how to look at such natural calamities or disasters or accidents? If you analyze that news, you will see that lakhs of people are living 
or driving irresponsibly. Mm -hmm. Out of those lakhs, only three met accident to this extent. So I am able to see very much that people are not living with a feeling of responsibility. They are having indefinite conduct. Sometimes that indefinite conduct you know, is so much damaging. Mm -hmm. So I get a feeling of responsibility that I have to educate the people. First of all, I will look at myself whether I am driving properly or not. Whether I take care of my body properly or not. And to the extent that I can educate people, I will try to educate them in such a way that they do not commit such mistakes. Isn't it? So, of course, this is not desirable. Mm. But this is something that we can expect. If people are not having definite conduct, they will have indefinite conduct. And indefinite conduct will have its own consequences. Still, I am not... Um... Now, I am saying that people with lack of right understanding, right feeling, right thought will have indefinite conduct. Mm -hmm. So people in the society are living with indefinite conduct. Mm -hmm. Now that indefiniteness may cross some limit after which crimes may take place, accidents may take place, catastrophe may take place, all those possibilities are there. So I am already prepared for that, that this may happen. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? So proactively what will you do? We will try to educate people. Now see, like traffic police is there to chalan those who are not putting on helmets. Mm. Now the government is feeling that it is your, its responsibility so that people don't meet accident. And people will try to escape the traffic police without helmets, you know, not put on helmets. Now what is being done here? People are so irresponsible. The government is taking extra pain to protect their life mm. and they are not taking that pain. If they have to just put on a helmet, you know, somebody, I think Priya Didi only was sharing in a morning session, you know, that Let's she felt very bad. College you know, student. Her, her, not a staff made accident you know, in the early morning, right? The college Previous bus. Day, yeah. So the college bus basically you know, had accident with the college staff only and the person died. Then I simply asked her, was he putting on the helmet or not? So the answer was no. So ultimately, the person is not responsible. Yeah, yeah, I am not saying this is the only reason, but we have to see this mishappening, how much they owe to indefinite conduct. Who is making the roads? You know, take the mic. Penalty for not wearing, uh, this is not enough. Uh, they have to maintain the road. Uh, everything should be correct. See, who is the government? I we am... are the government. Um... <laughs> no, no, yeah, they, can, uh, they can uh, so, uh, take charge, uh, fine for the not wearing helmet. That time they can spend on uh, the, uh, maintaining the road. No. So that can be done. See, implementation part is not good, sir. Of course, we are the government. Government is by the people, of the people, for the people. But we have no power to control. They have to establish rules and they have to implement their problems. All these accidents, disasters. So the problem is that you know, each self who is the knower has not come to know this whole thing. Whether I am on this side of the table or that side of the table. The right understanding is missing. The right feeling is missing. The right program is missing. So mishappenings are taking place. Isn't it? And if you look at these mishappenings, they are taking place much less than what can happen. Sometimes technical error also causes... Yeah, if technical error is there, then we have to do some upgrade our skills. Yes, I see. Yeah. But most of the time, if you see, it is because of inhuman conduct. Indefinite conduct. Isn't it? But most of the accidents because of uh, bad conditions of roads and negligence of these people who drive their vehicles. You know. yeah. So when people are not driving responsibly, <laughs> when people are not driving Sir, responsibly. Um, actually, way. awareness programs also should be conducted. You no, know, how to behave in uh, roads? That that kind of that that is never given to students, especially students. We don't give. Yeah. See, ultimately, all the programs that you conduct. If it is not able to relate the human being 
to the state of continuity of happiness. A person will do something or the other for excitement. Mm. So that awareness program will not help after some limit. To some limit it can help. But ultimately I want to be happy in continuity. I do not have a program for continuity of happiness. So what to do? So I'll do something for excitement. I'll you know, not hold mm. my handle a yes. bicycle or motorcycle and then just drive. <laughs> Isn't it? In Noida, we keep on getting news that students are caught when they are driving irresponsibly, not holding the handles or uh, there will be people who are sitting in the cars and then peeping out of, out of the window and, and just moving on the road like that. Why are, why are they doing that? Bhai, uh, in continuation with the question that Gita Didi asked, like uh, when you say that when we cross the level of indefiniteness, that may likely to happen. But at some cases, we can see that someone who is uh, having, even having right understanding may become a victim of certain things. How to interpret or have a clarity on that? Yeah, so for that, we can be a little cautious. We are able to see that people have indefinite conduct. So when you are driving, you assume the other person to have indefinite conduct. Yeah. And it's, then it's drive responsibly. When you are moving on the road, you Anna, are always clear that people are not having right understanding. So take some precaution. That's what. So it's like everybody should be with the definite conduct, right? That is the only solution. If I understand, there is nothing I should or shouldn't. If I understand, I live with definite conduct. Yeah. And then I have compassion for others also. I can see that people who are not having right understanding will not live with definite conduct. So I have to make a program for them. And uh, what is the definition of fate here? Like if uh, innocent or somebody has been affected because of such kind of things, we, we generally term that to be the fate of the particular person or the family. See, when we are not able to see the reality as it is and we are caught up in form and property, then we associate so many words to that. So basically it is coincidence. A mere coincidence. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, self is the one who pays attention, who sees, who observes. When we say sees, it has the whole range depending upon from where you are seeing. So, when we are seeing, seeing, you know, what does seeing mean? So, knower, the seer, that is the self to see the reality as it is. So when I am seeing at the level of testing and selecting, I am seeing the shape of the reality. Isn't it? So I am seeing the shape of the reality. It is happening at the level of selecting and testing, at the level of expectation. When I am comparing and analyzing, I am seeing the effect of this reality on some other reality. Isn't it? When I am contemplating or imaging, I am seeing the participation of this reality in relationship in order. When I am understanding or you know, I am determining, then I am seeing the innateness, the harmony of this reality. And at the level of realization or authentication, I am seeing the coexistence, the submergence of this reality. Now where do I stand? What is my present level of competence? This is something that I have to make out for myself. To what extent am I able to see? Do I see only up to here? Do I also see up to here? Or do I see here also? So mostly you will see that if I am not exploring, I live at the level of expectation. Let something happen which can make me happy. Now what is happening here? I am trying to only see something outside which can make me happy. Let somebody bring a big gift for me. Let somebody you know, put some kind words in my ears. You know, let somebody do this for me or that for me. Mostly at the level of expectation. And then I get motivated or demotivated by looking at the form of a unit. I go to my relative's place. I look at his building. Such a you know, nice building, such a nice color of the building, you know, a facade you see, so nice, so beautiful. 
and it mesmerizes me what is happening i am associating my happiness only to the form of something i am not sure what is happening inside the house the house may be very good looking <laughs> what is happening inside the house are people happy living in that house or not this is something you know as a very common kind of mistake when you look at a person how do we judge a person maybe by clothes maybe by looks but what is going on inside the imagination of the person we seldom know and then we try to judge people by these things which may not which is not the right evaluation isn't it so when i am living only at the level of expectation i get guided and misguided from here the form of the unit somebody you know brought a new car right and i get mesmerized by the look of the car the shape of the car the color of the car but next day i come to know that he cheated his friend to purchase this car <laughs> what is happening here now my impression will change but i can very much make out that having or possessing this kind of car is not an outcome of right understanding or is not a sign of right understanding at least i can go for that car if i require but it is not something that clearly signifies right understanding so when i am living only at the level of expectation and i am only looking at the form when i am comparing and analyzing i am able to see the effect also so will this house have an effect on the harmony in the family or not will this car have an effect on my you know what kind of effect this car will have on my body so presently if you see you know we we start from the house in the car we are sitting we go to the office again we are sitting again we drive back we are sitting at home again we are sitting in 24 hours we are sitting for at least 16 hours and then what happens we have so many trouble and you know, so many problems in the body isn't it so i can see that to ensure my health i need to do labor i didn't to need to do exercise i need to regulate you know posture of the body so whether i require this much of sitting also or not if not then i will not use my car to go to the office maybe for example i'll use something where i can run i can jog i can walk isn't it i can cycle that will also help me so no longer am i going to you know be caught up in the imagination like this so i can see the effect of the reality now when i am contemplating i am able to see the participation the relation so i can to it the two are related the two are related that's how the effect is there. if you see this pointer has an effect on the screen you know that light is coming so i can see the effect if i press this this light will come you know there is some laser beam here and this has been done you know in some way or the other at the same time i can see that material units are related effect could be this way or that way but they are very much related this is contemplation again i can see at the level understanding the harmony the innateness and at the lower realization i can see the cohesion so self is the seer that includes the whole range of it with all this put together we are able to see your reality in its completeness the major part being seen through contemplation understanding and realization when we are able to see a reality in its completeness self is called the knower so it is the knower basically i have come to know you know the knowing is accomplished a better way to put it would be that the knowing is accomplished is it fine yeah contemplation is seeing the natural character 
Yeah, contemplating is seeing the natural characteristic, the participation. Imaging may or may be without contemplation. So when basically when we are imaging, our imaging our role. And, uh, and that could be without contemplation also, that can be with contemplation also. So for example, a very basic image is to have a happy and prosperous life. We all try to image it. And, uh, and that image may be dictated by preconditioning or sensation. Now what does happy and prosperous life mean to me? And, uh, then I draw an image of that life. Like a good family, a good career, or this thing, that thing, all those things put together I make an image and I call it a happy life. A prosperous life. But when I come to see the participation, the harmony you know, and the submergence, then I have a different image of happy and prosperous life. It is not subject to physical facilities, it is not subject to body, it is subject to knowing, right understanding, because that can only ensure happiness in continuity. Baya, huh? as a self, uh I have some expectations. I do comparison with other. Um, but by natural acceptance, I should not do that. Similarly, the other self is also expecting from me. For example, I put a mango tree. Mango should come, but I am expecting on one branch I should get coconut, other branch I should get jackfruit. So, I am also keeping my expectations high. On the other side, they also expect more. See, there is no problem with the activity of expectation or activity of comparing. They are very much there. So, I do compare. Comparing is an activity of mind. Similarly, I do expect. But whether my expectation or comparing is guided by right understanding or not is the issue. And if you look at our expectation, what would be a higher expectation than this? That let every human being be happy. We have such a big goal. <laughs> <laughs> when this will get balanced? By Pardon? A, when it will get balanced? I also have expectation, other is also having expectation. Yeah, now the problem is that if the expectation is not guided by all this realization, understanding and contemplation, then the expectation is related to form and property, isn't it? Without knowing the basic laws. So I may expect that now after attending UHV 3, I am enlightened. But that is not going to happen, <laughs> isn't it? So I can see the process now. It does take time, it will take time. So what happens, expectation is there now also, but it is guided. I can see that ultimately when I am able to realize the whole existence as coexistence, then only I will be in a state of happiness and continuity, isn't it? And others also, they are not having the right understanding, so they are also expecting so many things. The basic expectation is that I want to be happy, but when I do not understand happiness, then what I expect, let others make me happy. And this is the problem in relationship, in the family, let others make me happy. I am as I am, accept me as I am. You have to change yourself so that I am happy. <laughs> In the? So there are not two modes of laughing now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So there are many formulations of what is to be known. Basically it is having the right understanding or having the knowledge of the entire existence. So if you see the tradition, there have been many formulations. If you look at the Vedic Darshan, there will be one kind of formulation. Bodh Darshan, another kind of formulation. Jain Darshan, another kind of formulation. You know? Madhyav Darshan, another kind of formulation. There could be so many formulations. But the essence of all those formulations is that ultimately we have to know all these three.
So one of these formulations is in terms of knowing the following human being, existence and human conduct. So nothing has to remain. I have to know the entire existence as it is, isn't it? And I can see that I am the knower, so I have to start from myself, isn't it? So I have to know myself and knowing me is not subject to one human being. So knowing me means knowing the human being. So knowing the consciousness, knowing the material, isn't it? So this formulation is keeping in mind the human existence and human living at the center. Further, the process of knowing when we go to understand the entire existence requires that first we have to know the self, the knower. Only when we know the knower and we are sure that knower has developed the competence to know the existence as a whole completely, then only we can be sure of its knowledge of existence. तो बात उतनी ही है घुमा <laughs> फिरा के कहें सीधे सीधे कहें है ना <laughs> उतनी ही बात है <laughs> भैया यू मीन टू से दैट ह्यूमन बीइंग इज वैल्यूज एग्जिस्टेंस इज पॉलिसीज ह्यूमन कंडक्ट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स नो 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 आई सेड ह्यूमन कंडक्ट इंक्लूड्स ऑल द थ्री वैल्यू पॉलिसी एंड कैरेक्टर So there are three components of human conduct, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Any question? So that means block B one, B two won't come in human being or existence. It comes B one, B two, B three, B four. All blocks come in human conduct. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah, because so the before values, values are to be contemplated, so they will be there in block B one. policy will be there in block b2 and character would be in there in expression because in before it was said like characteristics are human conduct which includes b3 and b4 human to human and human to rest of nature yeah so the expression part is there if you put it very precisely it will include block b1 b2 okay. b3 and b4 all the four because the values will be there stated in me at the level of contemplation the policies programs implementation and a evaluation mm. of programs will take place in the imagination and when i go to implement it i will do it in my and a behavior and work then what does this human being and existence signify okay. like all the blocks all the blocks are encompassed by human conduct means what does human being and the existence signify is no, there so, any separate blocks allotted to it yeah so if you take human conduct only to be expression then it will be there in expression only in at the level of character but okay. there has to be some basis of that character that expression so when you talk about conduct we have to include value so it's okay. not that they are mutually exclusive uh, okay. ultimately human conduct will include human being isn't it and when we talk about human being we talk about block b1 and block b2 both because they are there in the self mm. okay. so they are not going to be completely segregated or isolated okay. now when we talk about existence also so when we talk about block b1 we talk about the activity of realization mm. when we talk about realization we talk about submergence mm. when we talk about understanding we talk about harmony of four orders so ultimately what is happening here within me i am seeing the whole reality so when i talk about the reality ultimately i am the seer so when i talk about existence ultimately i am going to see the existence okay. so when i talk about existence i talk about the existence as well as my seeing the existence so i have to talk about the self also i have to talk about the rest of existence also isn't it so it will go like that uh, that mean block b1 b2 is applicable for all three formulations and uh, human contact alone will have four formulations am i right in my They're understanding not formulations see it includes it includes so human being when you talk about human being you have to talk about self and body when you talk about the nature again we have to talk about material and consciousness but material body is material consciousness is the self so understanding the human being i can understand the whole of nature now while i go to understand myself i can see that i am there very much in space so i can see the whole existence also 
So, this way it, has, it is related. Thank you. Is that clear? Yeah, getting clarified. Nice, nice, ma'am. So, the process of awakening is or knowing is awakening to the activities of contemplation, understanding and realization whereby we can have the clarity, understanding of relationship, harmony and coexistence of one unit and ultimately of every unit in the entire nature. So, realization of coexistence that is seeing the existence as coexistence which is in the form of units submerged in space. So, you will see that it is a kind of hologram, you know, we start from any point ultimately to see the whole, <laughs> isn't it? It cannot be something in isolation. So, the space is there, units are there, units are of two kinds, material and consciousness, they are submerged in space, I am able to see this. So, gradually moving from bottom to top, you are able to see the units, you know, their innateness, their characteristic, the natural characteristic, then inheritance. Going by that, ultimately we are able to see the basis for all that. How come every unit is continuing with its innateness? How come every unit is continuing with its natural characteristic? What is there at the base? When I see that, I come to see the submergence. Now, understanding is understanding of harmony, self-organization in the nature. So, seeing the innateness, the self-organization or harmony of one unit and ultimately of every unit, the entire nature. Contemplation of my participation in the larger order in relationship. So, seeing the participation in relationship in larger order of one unit and ultimately of every unit, the entire nature. So, now let us look at this. You know. So, you can start from contemplation. Now, how to see this? How to contemplate on my participation? So, for example, when we talk about relationship, we talk about the feeling of trust and then we ask those eight questions. Do I want to be happy? Do I want to make the other happy? So, when I say that I want to make the other happy, this is my participation with other self. When I ask myself, does the other want to make me happy? This is the participation of other self you know, with me. And when I am able to see very clearly that I want to make the other happy, the other wants to make me happy, then only I am able to see my participation with the other unit. If I have a doubt that yes, I want to make the other happy, but the other may or may not make me happy, want to make me happy, you know, then that doubt you know, hinders my participation. I have a fear there, I have a doubt there. So, if you look at the words, they are very limited, but the expanse of meaning, you know, when I try to relate to my day to day life is something that I have to continue with. So, we can start looking at the meaning of these words in our own living. You know. Am I able to see my participation with every human being? There is one person in the house who keeps on shouting, I do not know what problem he or she has. You know. <laughs> What is my participation with the other unit? Do you use a cello tape on the mouth <laughs> or something else? <laughs> or put a cello tape on my ears? <laughs> what is my participation? See, all the time you see, we are trying to contemplate what has to be done with this person and how I can happiness, I can have happiness with this person. So, you are trying to contemplate, but it is only that when we are not able to look at the innate feeling, we are not able to contemplate. We are trying to contemplate. Wherever there is a problem, we try to think what is the root cause of the problem and how to remove that root cause. Bhaiya, in this regard, uh, I am getting some ego problem. I want to make a relationship with many, sometimes I get uh, the ego problem, how to get rid of ego problem, is that right understanding is the only solution or any other thing you can suggest to get rid of ego. So, what do you call as ego? Why should I go and start first? They did mistake, you, they let them start. 
even with my sister i felt before like now ore vede after seeing pro, like some other issues it it got resolved but now yeah, at my family i want to make uh, the like i want to confirm the feeling of relationship but so with some relationship i am seeing some ego or uh, and same way others are seeing uh, having some ego problem to come and talk to me so what is the correct uh, word in our uhv so that i can get rid of the ego problem so with that person what is your participation now i am okay i want to so what is your participation whether you are okay or not is not the issue okay. what is your participation with that particular person that is all like uh, it started like uh, i making trying to make the relationship in smaller order not in uh, high order now let us take this as a case study you know okay. so there is some problem in the relationship the other person is not approaching me to talk to me i also feel that i why should i go first and talk to the other person you know now what how can contemplation help here pardon what is the right understanding here if i go and talk to the other person he or she may feel that yes now he has committed mistake he and he or she should come to me and talk and i am superior and i he or she is inferior will that help then what will happen so what is my participation so that is that is a decision that you are taking and you know? but i am asking what is your participation innately with this person so that is an expression whether you go or do not go whether you call or he calls whether you like on the facebook first and you know? or he likes on the facebook first <laughs> <laughs> pardon yeah so my participation is the feeling i have to ask myself whether i want to make the other happy or unhappy this is the first step you know so just labeling something as ego will not help i have to ask myself do i want to make the other person happy or unhappy now what will happen i say that i want to make the other happy then what answer do i get yeah i want to make the other happy so should i go and talk to him yeah. but maybe he will disrespect me i could not be disrespectful i wanted to make him happy he has made me unhappy then no i will not make him happy <laughs> pardon i will another program yeah so we are looking into our participation with a particular person with whom i am not having mutually fulfilling relationship so within me i can be clear that i want to make the other person happy and this is not something as a level of thought at the level of thought you know something at the level of contemplation i have to work out for myself and when i am able to contemplate on my participation it's not only with one person it, it is with every other person so i can see that i want to make the other person happy the other also wants to make me happy and this other could be anyone it's only a variation of competence my competence also had been lacking earlier i am trying to improve my competence you know the other also person the other person also needs to improve his competence so if i get this kind of feeling then i feel complimentary so my participation is complementarity here with the other person in what terms in developing the right understanding in ensuring contemplation understanding realization in the other is that clear so my participation is in terms of complementing the other to develop the self of the other for that i can make a program and i can very much see that if i do not have right understanding i have problems if the other person doesn't have right understanding he or she has problems bhai yeah, i have a question from the previous slide so when you say first we have to know the self 
which is that level contemplation understanding or realization so when i go to know the self that i know myself now contemplation is there in me so i have to know the contemplation also i have to know understanding also i have to know realization also so i am the seer i am the seen so when i am knowing myself i am also knowing the entire existence in that process was what was my understanding so far but when i uh, see that line now i am confused that first we have to know the self only when we know the knower then i have the competence to know the existence so now i am confused ki which is that level yeah, so, so i thought it is the realization where i know the self and the existence everything yeah so there at least i come to see that i am the self i am not the body this much i have to see then i can go further but the completeness of right understanding will take place hai na when i am able to see the submergence and at that time i am able to see me also in completeness i want to see the existence also in completeness because so far i was not aware of this potential to realize once i have realized then i see that yes this is there in me by virtue of which i can see the entire existence and at the same time i have seen the entire existence also yeah but i have to see first that i am not the body i am different from the body i am a self a conscious entity nice so we talked about hai na this thing now we can detail upon this so realization of coexistence so existence is coexistence which is in the form of unit submerged in space so every unit in nature is energized in space self organized in space exists in a different in a definite order it recognizes its relationship with every other unit and fulfills the relationship being in space now i have to start from myself am i energized yes so each one of us is energized we have energy isn't it we have activity am i self organized yes how pardon yes yes <laughs> nice <laughs> yes so i am self organized if i live in harmony i am happy if i do not live in harmony i am not happy if i have the feeling of relationship i am happy if i have the feeling of opposition i am unhappy and then i am also recognizing the relationship with other units you know bit material or consciousness and fulfilling but i have to see this presently i am analyzing this isn't it presently with so much of exploration we are analyze, able to analyze so well now it has to come to the level of seeing so this when seen in the case of self as an unit i am a unit of consciousness in space i am energized in space activities of desire thought expectation are continuous in me bhaiya yeah. um recognizing the relationship with the other unit like unit to conscious to conscious conscious to material recognizing the relationship but fulfilling the relationship in space this was not clear what to fulfill this recognition that in term to the space yes so at the level of realization i can see that whatever is happening mm -hmm. is happening being in space being so the recognition space. is also taking place being in space the fulfillment is also taking place being in space the space Full is there at the base uh, space is the base but fulfilling this <coughs> relationship with the other unit that is happening in the space correct yeah so everything is happening in the space hmm. the being of the unit is there in the space hmm. the fulfillment is also there in the space the form and property are also there you know while the unit is there in the space so what space kind of fulfillment is that okay so for example if you talk about a self so harmony in the self is fulfillment fulfillment okay if you talk about body ha uh -huh. nurturing protection right utilization the body is fulfillment that is for the material so any an material. example of material is body so it mm -hmm. is if it is belonging to the bio order <coughs> then nurturing protection right utilization you know in the bio order if you look at the material order then its innateness is existence and you know it's fulfilled you can see that participation in terms of composition decomposition 
so that is fulfillment so for example we make a building in such a way that you know we can live here it has its own utility value isn't it so we are fulfilling in that manner so when we are interacting with bricks and mortar and you know uh, all these things so we are able to make a building which can fulfill our needs Yes, certainly. Yes, there is no effort needed for doing this. It happens automatically, na? Because everything is happening in the space itself. Is it is conscious to conscious interaction, conscious to material or whatever. So the effort is there in the consciousness. Yes. Yeah. But so effort, un uh, un unknowingly also it is happening, na? Pardon? Unknowingly also, if yes, you are, yes. if you are not paying any attention also, still it is happening. Yes, it is happening. Yes. so the recognition and fulfillment is happening every time hai na and it is based on assuming also if you talk about consciousness with knowing we are doing it hai na with understanding so assumption part it involves some sort of effort at, at, no, attention is required so when you say effort at least assumption is or assuming is involved yeah so the plant is not making any effort to grow it is a definite recognition and fulfillment but we are making an effort to understand to fulfill relationship to nurture the body to mm. take care of the family we are making effort now from here there is another state where we can do it effortlessly so mm. the potential to do effort is there in me yes when okay. i utilize it rightly i do effortlessly now so in that sense we are unique as compared to the other units other orders there are only two kinds of units <laughs> <laughs> so we are as different from material yes as compared to other orders of the nature three orders yeah so in that sense we are unique also yeah so in the human order again hai na this knowing potential to know is there so that is something different from other orders so i am a unit of consciousness in space i am energized in space activities of desire thought expectation are there in me which are continuous i am self organized being in space i exist in a definite order i can recognize my relationship with other units and fulfill it when i do it i feel happy when i do not i feel unhappy as simple as this with this realization i live with authenticity in continuity so here i am awakening to the activity of realization so now we are moving from realization to understanding to contemplation so at the level of realization i can see this so for the self i can see this so it is only the case of self similarly i can see this for every unit hai na maya at the level of understanding ji i have something to say i understood something but i don't know whether i realized right now correctly uh there is a saying <coughs> my wolf gang poly god invented volume he left the surface to devil this is a statement what so say it again say it god again. invented volume he left the surface to devil actually when we have a coffee in a cup it takes time to uh, release its release its heat but when the same coffee is poured in a saucer it will react fast that is area packed system we are all packed you are telling space as no activity activity i cannot even grasp uh, anything how to imagine that space as no activity now by connecting this example i am trying to understand that we are all in a volume packed system we are breathing without breathing no human can be alive in this world without living we cannot think of any interaction love or feeling or war or anything in this world nothing is possible without breathing and visualization that is seeing and doing is breathing two things are happening this volume is saving us all suppose if the volume is an interacting parameter like ionosphere we all cannot be in the world like uh, we eat chicken we become human pieces I'll like just, chicken I'll pieces i just respond by one sentence that yeah the when volume you try to read similes and uh, this will not help this i have to see the reality as it is Uh, i may equate something to something i may find it this formulation similar to some other formulation mm. 
Okay, but that will not help exactly. But the air is non-reactive. The no, air no is no. No need to see. See, uh. air is a part of material order. Okay, but Physical that is order. safeguarding us. Like you say, all units are submerged in space. The air is safeguarding us actually. No, no, it's see. completely I'm, safeguarding again, I us. Understand. This air is there in the nature. My body is breathing air, mm. by which the body is surviving. Yes. Right. But I am not the body. So no need to equate, na, A to B, B to C. No, I can see A as it is, B as it is, C as it is. Okay. So I can see the air as it is. It is a part of physical order. Okay. I can see the body as it is. It is part of bio order. I can see myself, a conscious unit. Na, this is the way I have to see. Okay. So this visualization is different, and that. Yeah. So what you are doing ultimately, you are doing something in the domain of imagination. Mm. Only imagining. And equating certain entities, you know, this way or that way, will not help me come to the state of realization, understanding. Okay. I have to see the reality as it is. Okay. So understanding of harmony in nature. So all units in the nature can be classified into four orders. These units and the four orders have definite innateness or self-organization, which can be understood. The definiteness born out of understanding leads to the feeling of bliss. When I understand this, I am determined to live with my self-organization, my innateness, my harmony, and I facilitate the self-organization of other units. So when I am able to see this, the harmony within, I am in harmony within, and I facilitate the harmony in other units. Similarly, contemplation of my participation in the larger order. <coughs> so every unit has a definite participation in the existence a definite role to play in this existence. To be able to see this role, this participation in relationship with other units is called contemplation. In case of human being, it means trying to see what is my role in this existence. What is my participation in the larger order, in the within oneself, in the family, in society, in nature existence? What is my value in the existence? That is the human value. For example, in relationship of mutual fulfillment with the human being, leading to mutual happiness, leading to undivided society based on trust, respect, affection, up to love. With this, I can see that I have a definite role to play as a human being. Then my desire is to fulfill that definite role. My desires become definite. I can see that there is provision for fulfillment of the desires in nature. This leads to a feeling of satisfaction, that is contentment. So, at the level of desire, I am able to contemplate on of my participation and I can also see that there is already provision you know, for me to fulfill my participation. It is not only that I want to make the other happy, I can make other happy, you know, but this is the process by developing the self of the other. I can be happy by developing the self within me, that is me. So, there is already some provision. Every human being can self-explore. Every human being wants to self-explore. So I do not have to struggle to fulfill my desires. Only that my desires are not in line with the coexistential harmony. So if you see a very simple thing that we can conclude you know, for ourselves, that the existence is already in harmony. I only have to align with that. With my own misunderstanding, I had been misaligning. While there is relationship, I was thinking of opposition. Isn't it? While there is harmony, I was planning for disharmony. While there is coexistence, I was thinking in terms of struggle. I was not aligning myself. I only have to align with the inherent coexistence. And rest everything is in order. This gives me satisfaction also. That my desires are there and they can always be fulfilled. Only that I have to have the right desires. So the desire to have undivided society you know, is not something wrong. That is very much there. It can be fulfilled also. It's only that I have to know you know how every human being is related to every other human being. That is all. So this is my like current state. Self working with imagination on the basis of sensation of preconditioning. When preconditioning or sensation are misguiding the imagination. So we have unguided senses, health and profit, unguided sensation. But when we are able to work in the right direction, 
when we are able to awaken the activities of contemplation, understanding, realization, then this guidance is there and then we are in harmony. So with this I have clarity of relationship, natural characteristic and that is participation in the larger order. I have clarity of harmony in the nature that is self-organization, innateness. I have clarity of coexistence in existence that is submergence. So this is the desired state. We will talk about it in more uh, depth also. So we will talk about it at length. Maya, what is that power 1 and 2? Pardon? Eager to know. Power 1 and 2. Okay. Power 1, 2. Basically we have not used any word here. So it is the power to authenticate. It is the power to determine. Since these words are in common use, so we have used these words because we generally use the desire. If you say, what are you imaging, <laughs> then the other person will have to think, <laughs> what is, but if you ask to make a list of desires, you know, people can make a list of desires, isn't it? So since these words are in common use, so we have used here, we have not used any word for one and two. So we will discuss this further. Like this part we are anyway going to discuss more in module 3 and we will discuss at length. We will talk about these higher activities of the self, contemplation, understanding and realization in detail in lecture 12 also. This brief discussion is in context of defining the process of knowing. Through this process of knowing we can explore into the whole existence. So the homework associated with this lecture is. Knowing is a specific need and activity of the self. Elaborate on what exactly is to be known and which specific activities of the self are involved. So, now you are clear what exactly is to be known and, and which activities are involved. Is everything to be known definite and universal or are there some things that are indefinite? When you are seeing a reality, what is the range of your seeing? only up to the level of testing or even comparing or even contemplation. To what extent we are able to see. Nice. So, we will 